All right, so we're here at Media Day at SHOT Show 2018. First stop, got to get your coffee mug from Yeti. Lola never gets these, so she's, she always complains. So this year, we're getting them. I got tea in mine because I'm really not a coffee drinker. You got tea in yours because you're not yeah. a coffee drinker. Yeah, I'm a real man. Real men drink tea. All right, so what we're doing here is we're getting a preview at SHOT Show 2018 Media Day on the Range of the Ram Limited 1500 line for 2019. So these aren't exactly out yet, but you can order them. And I think by the middle of the year, you'll actually be able to pick one up. Huge, huge uh, upgrades in what's going on with Ram right now that I think they're starting to like uh, slowly move through the line. So um, just quickly here, I could tell you the front lights are a little bit different and they're adaptive. You know, they've changed the grill. Um, even now some options that you can get. So for example, you had to do this before. If you look here, when you open the door, the side steps drop down here so you can get in. The running boards drop down. That's awesome. That is great. So now let's uh, take a look inside here. Um, the screen. Look at the massiveness of the screen in here. Um, the, the, the entire interior has been upgraded. I think they said you've got something like 19 speakers. Um, the dash has been upgraded and basically your your screen here went from being about eight inches to what looks like an iPad like a full-size iPad there you know that's amazing and there's nothing nothing but storage in these things that's what I like about them so right here you've got storage check that out one of my favorite features about Ram trucks is that you got tons of storage in here and this is no different. Um, even under, even under the seat, there's storage. So there's this little box that you can open up here. You can put a rifle in there, fishing poles, whatever it is you need. Bows and arrows, or whatever survival stuff you have. So it locks, opens, and you can pull this out actually. So that's removable. Very cool. <laughs> That's fine. All right, we are at the 2018 SHOT Show Media Day on the range, and we're doing a quick follow-up slash update with Cy Hudson, Hudson, makers of the H9. What's going on, man? It's good to see you, Hank. Been a good year for you guys. It has been a busy year. Absolutely. I, I'd say the good part is that we started shipping in October. The bad part is we didn't start shipping in June. Right. <laughs> and uh, what's coming up? Uh, what's coming up next, man? You know, I have to ask that. You can't, can't you can't get away without that? Are we going smaller? What are we doing? Uh, okay. So right now, I I like where we're headed with the H and A, and I am not releasing a I'm not I'm not announcing a release date. I'm not doing it. Pull me once, and I'll shame on me and all that. <laughs> now, so let me ask you this: You do have a chassis system in here. Yep. So if I have the original and I want to go with a lighter version, can I do that? Because I know the chassis it is com supposed to be modular, it, it, right? It is okay. completely doable. So we mm -hmm. have 100% parts interchangeability, 80, mm -hmm. you know, 80% parts commonality is basically yeah. between these two models. And as we build on that, uh, that's the goal. Basically, okay. it's where you're treating them like an AR. Yeah. You're throwing, you know, whatever drips, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that'll cool. be cool to be able to do. And then the, the ridiculous question, when can I get a carbine? Uh, let's you working see. on it? I, I, I promise. Come on. All the, no, not yet. I would you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. There are so many ridiculously awesome cards on the market right now that if I threw out that, I don't have mm. an original idea that would actually add to the conversation. Mm. If I come up with one, I'll make sure you're one of the first. To awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. You know I had to ask. I, <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm going to go shoot it now.
pup design. Mm -hmm. There's obviously some differences that you can change it. So rotating three there, you got your M L four end pick rail. Cool. Back setting for low and high pass. Okay. Charging lodge. You can load from either side. Either side, okay, yep. good. Your little attachment points. So you could load this on the run. Yeah. You can load it up, but if you've got a couple of shells, you can throw them in. Yeah, exactly. So, so you can you shoot from one side and be loading? No. Yeah, so oh, you, okay. could be sh you could shoot a tube mm -hmm. and then load this one up. So it's yeah, and then, and then cycle it in. Okay, yeah. cool. you got a cross bolt safety. Right. So Where's the safety? Down right there. Down so there. It's okay. It's on. It's on. It's on. And then what is this here, the release? Yeah, that's to release your tube to spin. To release so the tubes, okay. With firing, it's just similar to loading. So, say we run three, so you shoot three, roll, shoot three. Okay, you just roll. push and roll. Yep. Yeah, okay. Give it, All right, give awesome. It let's All right, so let's load, load it up. It's going to auto load. It auto loads your first round. Okay. All right, and then just switch. Cool. Not bad. All right, guys. So there you go. The IWI booth 2018 SHOT Show Media Day on the range. So that was the uh, TS-12. And we also did the uh, Tavor 7, the 308.